you guys have had some injuries along the line, of course, and, you know, you've had to step in several times. Just, you know, I guess it's nothing new now, but, you know, is that one of those things where you guys just kind of, you know, always keep it in the back of the, uh, in the back of your mind that you're just one play away from being out there for, for an entire game or a couple of weeks. Right. And then, uh, that's kind of the unfortunate part of the the league in general is it's really anybody's one play away from being the next guy up. So um, that's always in the back of our minds, like you said. And, you know, with Doug and, and, and Zach, we were always working really hard during the week to make sure that whoever could possibly go in the game is going to be able to do it at a high level. And so um, that's always our focus. And I know everybody in the offensive line room prepares each and every week like we are the starter just in case. So. Um, it's just that the culture we have in that room, the culture we have on this team that, you know, it's the next man, man of mentality and it doesn't matter who's in there. We're going to go do our job. Calvin, can you just kind of talk about the job Andy's done? Um, obviously when, you know, things aren't going your way or you're, you get down 10, nothing or anything, just him as a veteran, being able to handle things and your offense being able to respond under pressure and adversity. Yeah, and I think he's always that level head that that's going down, going down the sideline, talking to the different groups and making sure that we're all on the same page. And, you know, it doesn't matter if we're down 10 or up 10, we're going to keep doing what, what what we need to do. And um, he's he's just been that leader in that way and, and keeping us on the right on the right track in games like that. And um being able to get uh, in, get us into situations that are that are optimal for us and and over the course of each game. And how have you kind of seen Trevor now? He's he's taking a lot more snaps and using a lot more jumbo and, and such. But just kind of talk about where he's at and just kind of the confidence he's playing with right now. I mean, he's he's been playing great. He's improved each and every week. He's been out there and uh, he's. Uh, he's definitely a guy that we, we like having in there. He, he's been doing a great job. He's, you know, he's one of those guys that's going to try to finish on each and every play and he's doing it at a high level. And we're, we're very, we're very happy with how he's, he's come along. And I know he's been super excited to obviously get the opportunity to be, be out there again, being out as long as he was earlier in the part of the season. So he's, he's working his tail off each week to make sure that he's ready and he knows what he's doing. And so Great. It's been it's been good at least getting some guys back and trying to stay as healthy as possible for us the rest of the year. How satisfying was it to see Alvin Kamara get rolling again after maybe a few down games? I mean, it's great. I mean, you we, we obviously that that impacts us as well. We want we want to make sure that we're doing everything that we can as an offensive line to um put guys in the right spots and put guys in good positions. So um we take a lot of pride in that as well. So it's when whoever it is back there, we're we're trying to push ourselves to make sure that we can be effective on the ground. And especially in a game like it was on Saturday, it's you know it becomes pivotal and crucial to be able to do that effectively. So um, or we, we were happy to be able to get that going. He didn't sugarcoat how cold he was after the game. Did he say anything while on the field ever? Uh, <laughs> Now that now that I heard, I think I think when, at least when we're on the field, everybody's you know focused on what we have to do. But you know, when you come off, when you as soon as you stop playing, you come off that sideline. You definitely you're definitely feeling that wind a little bit more. You're feeling those elements a little bit more, and that's obviously evidenced by everybody <laughs> up on the sideline in our big coats. So, uh, but it was a fun game. I, I, I it's definitely one I won't forget, and it was a really awesome experience to be able to go out and do that. Oh yeah, you were excited about it. Was it everything you wanted? It really was. I mean, ran the football as much as we did, did that effectively. You know, you're playing in, you know, a little bit of snow, little, little, little flurries here and there, wind like that. It's 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 one of those games that as an offensive lineman you just get excited about. And uh I mean it was just fun. It's 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 one of those nasty, grueling kind of games that whoever was able to, you know, run the ball better and control the clock better is most likely going to come out on top. So it was just one of those games that we were very excited about as a group. And we were obviously elated to be able to get that that victory. Kevin, does some of that carry over? I know Philadelphia will be uh, uh, not 
negative 14 wind chill or whatever <laughs> but uh i mean same same kind of thing the northeast in in late december and and probably needs to be a physical game do you, do you like being able to carry that over and what or should that be able to carry over i guess into another contest where physicality should be premium yeah absolutely that's the that's the you know the goal each and every time we go out there is to be able to like like i said run the ball at a, at a high level and especially at this point in the season that's that's what's going to be able to separate, you know, the playoff teams from from others. And uh, we absolutely consider ourselves a, a playoff team. So, you know, that's going to be our goal. And we're we're obviously excited for the challenge that that Philly's going to present come Sunday. And what was your uh, the equipment guys got a game ball? Uh, uh, what was your favorite or most important piece of equipment or thing they contributed? Oh, I mean everything over the course of that game. Being able to have the the layers and everything to be able to, you know, wear on our uniforms from the the hand warmers, probably thousands of hand warmers over the course of the game that guys were using. Um, obviously the jackets and stuff on the sideline, beanies on the sideline to keep us warm during the game. So they were everywhere and anywhere we needed them that day. So it was very, very well deserved. Absolutely. And what was the largest crowd you ever saw standing around a heater? <laughs> uh <laughs> I don't, I can't remember anything during the game. I definitely I but after the game I saw a little video of like guys in pregame warm-ups and it was probably about eight, nine, ten guys just went and huddled around there pregame. Kelvin, have the last couple of years taught you uh taught you anything about just needing to be ready? It just seems like you know you've kind of had to fill in a couple different spots. Just it's kind of like I said, it's, you know, you're, you're one play away and it's the the hard part about the, you know, the reality of the position that we're in as, as football players. And it's just kind of a, it's just a mentality that I've tried to cultivate over the last two years. And I think everybody else as well, of just, you know, you have to be able to prepare as if you are the one that's going out there and, and starting and playing the majority of the game. Otherwise, you know, you're not only doing yourself a disservice, but uh, you're you're not upholding, you know, your responsibility as a member of that of that football team. So that's that's always been a, a big source of pride for me and being able to be ready no matter what the situation is, wherever I'm, whatever position I'm playing and uh, be able to go out there and execute and, and perform like as I should. Hey, Calvin. Uh, Trevor had mentioned that he wanted to go sleeveless for the game, and I, I don't think he did. Uh, I'm not quite sure about that, though. Was there anyone who was attempting to, like, do anything like that, and they were just kind of overruled by <laughs> the coaches or anyone? Uh, not, I wouldn't say the coaches. I think everybody uh, either felt the elements pregame or, you know, during the course of warm-ups and stuff and realized that, you know, sleeves probably weren't a bad idea. And uh, I know for me, it, it's one of those things that's like, you don't want that distraction. And so if it's take three, four layers to feel good and feel confident in, in, in that game, then that's what it takes. And if whoever wanted to be sleeveless wanted to be sleeveless and they felt good doing that, that, that was fine too. But uh, I know for me, I was like, I did, especially with that win, it's just, you know, I'm going to put sleeves. <laughs> I'm going to <wear> sleeves. <laughs> One of those things that sounds good in theory, and then you get out there, and I'm sure <laughs> maybe right. not 